Please insert your global transport card now. Agent 5, you will require your transport card to utilize the global transport system. transport card now. Choose a destination. Preparing destination transporter. Recording passengers organic substratum. Prepare for molecular disintegration.
choose a destination. Preparing destination transporter. Recording passengers organic substratum. Prepare for molecular disintegration. Choose a destination. Other destinations have not been pre-programmed. Foreign organism detected in transporter. Please hold for tracking and sterilization process. Foreign element eliminated. Preparing destination transporter. Recording passengers organic substratum. Prepare for molecular disintegration. Thank you for using Global Transport. So help me if I miss the first human encounter with alien beings.
so you finally decided to make it into work. And only 32 minutes late this time. Obviously, you think TSA rules do not apply to you. Well, you are wrong. As of now, you're grounded. One week of review and data cleanup work in the command center, and you can start by reviewing TSA agent procedures, which you've obviously forgotten. that it becomes necessary to restore the proper course of history, the procedure is as follows. As quickly as possible, get to the ready room and retrieve your assigned mapping and Pegasus biochips and the journeyman key from their storage containers. The Pegasus biochip is your link to Pegasus. It is what allows you to be pulled back to the present at the touch of a button. Next, enter the biosupport suit generator. The biosupport suit is an indispensable element of the time travel process and is essential for your protection. After you're outfitted for travel and before the reality distortion wave reaches the present, you must jump to the year 200 million BC. Upon arriving, use the journeyman key to open the storage vault and obtain the journeyman historical log. Since it exists at a point in time previous to any likely temporal changes, this disk serves as a source of unaltered historical information. To discover how history has been changed, return to the Temporal Security Annex and insert the journeyman disk into the computer. It will be cross-referenced with the historical log which was left behind and altered by the reality distortion wave. Knowing how, when, and where the past was changed should give you the information you need to restore the proper flow of history. A word of caution. Time is very sensitive to change. In order to keep from altering history further, try to solve the problems you encounter without changing anything. As a rule, a temporal protectorate agent should never interfere with any events of the past. Never leave anything behind that came from a different time. Never remove any historically significant objects from an environment. And above all, an agent should never interact with beings from another time zone. The simplest analogy for the theory of time travel is that of a tunnel in time. When someone travels through time, a tunnel is created which originates when the travel is begun and ends when the traveler lands. If some event in the past is altered, the theory states a rip occurs in the fabric of time which gives rise to a temporal chain reaction. This chain reaction takes the form of a reality distortion wave. It could take anywhere from a few seconds to several hours to reach the present. Of those who aren't uncreated when the distortion wave hits, many will suddenly have a new life, and the past as we know it will cease to exist. Traveling back in time before the distortion wave hits allows an agent to jump over the distortion wave and escape its effects. As a member of the Temporal Protectorate, you alone will have the ability to jump back in time and prevent the corruption from ever happening. To ensure that it doesn't happen again, you'll have to discover the source of this disruption and bring it to a halt. One main caution exists. When time jumping, never allow the energy level that sustains the temporal link between yourself and the Pegasus device to be depleted, for integrity failure of this conduit will end any possibility of returning to the present. The Particle Accelerating Space-Time Transporter V1, otherwise known as Pegasus, was the brainchild of part-time historian and full-time physicist Dr. Elliot Sinclair. In 2311, after seeing Sinclair's time-bending experiments, the government contracted him to build a full-scale, operational time machine. The purpose of this device was to explore our past, as well as to discover the truth behind many disputed historical events. Just four years after the project was begun, the world's first time machine underwent its first test run. However, 
due to mounting concerns by individuals who believe that the machine would be used not only to explore history, but also to alter it. The test run would be the first and last time that the machine would be used for research purposes. The project was discontinued, and Sinclair was forbidden to ever work on time distortion projects again. Time travel, now a reality, the government secretly set up the Temporal Security Annex as a means to safeguard history from potential sabotage. You, the members of the Temporal Protectorate, are among the very few who know of its existence. Dear God, it's finally happened. And with you of all people on duty, Gage, this is it. It all depends on you. Get to the ready room. Let's do it! Temporal RIP emergency confirmed. Initiating protocol. Access authorized for Agent 5 G Blackwood. Temporal RIP emergency confirmed. Access authorized for Agent 5G Blackwood. Preparation complete for Mapping Biochip. Pegasus Biochip. <laughs> 